What's going on guys? It's Matt with No BS Beard Reviews. Tonight we're taking a look at the Glam Fields Ceramic Ionic Heat Brush. So let me just preface this review as in this is my first ever experience with one of these heated brushes. Uh, this is the first one I've ever tried. This is the first user experience I've had with it. So just take my comments and feedback with a grain of salt uh, when, I, when I mention that. And so got this a few weeks ago, used it a few times. This is from a company called Glam Fields. I will uh, link this down below. You can get it on Amazon. It goes for $42.99 on Amazon. Very, very nicely packaged. This is almost like an iPhone box, a giant iPhone box. You know the quality of iPhones and Apple products, but that's very much what it reminds me of. Slides out. It actually comes encased in this nice little purple velvety bag here. This reminds me of those Crown Royal bags a little bit, but just a few key points on this before we jump in and do an actual demo of it. Um, got my cord getting caught up down here. And so this is what it looks like. It's got the, you can set the temperature on it, your on off switch. It does have an auto shut off, which I find to be really nice. Um, it's got that swivel cord, which a lot of these promise, but never actually have. It's got 12 different heat settings. So it does get very hot to very, you know, like a low heat. It does have a ceramic comb as well, as well as negative ions, which are apparently not going to cause breakage, but I'll let you get in close there. Nice deep teeth. I don't know if you can actually call these like true teeth. I guess you can if you get real close there, but so just got out of the shower. This is what my beard looks like. Got some different kinks in it, you know, different waves over here. But we'll give it a shot. Let me show you what this does. All right, so it's definitely hot. When I pull it to my face, I can feel heat. Now, when I first got this, I was wanting to just go through really quick and nothing was really happening for me. The one negative thing I'd say about this, and again, take this with a grain of salt because I have not used these products a ton or used heated brushes before, I always use a blow dryer and a round brush or a blow dryer and a comb, is that this thing just seems to kind of glide through my beard. There's no tension to really help. Like I'm used to having a blow dryer and tension on my beard to help straighten it. This just kind of glides through. And I found with that, it just takes a little while longer, in my opinion. I was kind of under the mindset that these heated brushes were supposed to eliminate the time that blow drying takes. And this actually takes a little bit longer for me to straighten my beard out the way I would actually leave the house with it. Cause I have to go so slow to get it. I've got a mirror right in front of me here. I'm looking at it. I don't know. Does it look like it's getting straighter to you? To me, it does a little bit, but it's not. I just can't see spending 30 seconds pulling it through my beard. You know, the price point, $42.99, that's about, I would say, average for these. It's not super high, but it's not low either. I mean, it's definitely cleaning it up some. It's taking some of those kinks and those waves out. I'll give it that. It's just, I'm a very impatient person having to sit here and spend 15, 20 seconds each stroke. I've also had to fight the urge to press in and get that wave. So I try to concentrate just going straight down. I mean, that gives you a good you know, from far away, that doesn't look too bad, but when you get up close, you look at all those flyaways. Again, I don't have any product in my beard right now, but... So I would probably come and even go up and out. You 
You can really feel the heat underneath when you're doing that. That's a good look. Go from side to side. That helps straighten things. Again, you just gotta go really slow with this thing. It, it just glides through your beard like butter. It just doesn't offer a ton of tension. It's doing its job, though. I will say that. It is straightening it. I just feel like I have more flexibility and control with a blow dryer and comb because I can, you know, work some different problem spots. Here, I usually get a divot, and so I will come up and down. I just don't have the patience to do that. <laughs> just... I don't know. I mean, it's definitely straightened it, that's for sure. It just looks kind of sloppy in my opinion. This is not to my standard. You can see it's definitely straighter, but it's just it's kind of all over the place still, in my opinion. Again, I don't have product in it. I would put some balm or butter on top of this. But overall, the hype around heated brushes, I don't know if I'm a believer. I don't know if I bought in yet. I want to try some others first, um, but this Glamfield one, you know, it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would purchase this. I, I would say that, um, I, yeah, so it is what it is, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can click on the link here. And then as always, guys, God bless. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good night.